While debate rages on about exactly who or what constitutes heavy metal and its overall merits as a musical genre, most commentators agree that it all kicked off in the late 1960s with the theatrically macho and extremely loud blues-based rock of bands like Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath and Deep Purple. The evolution continued with harder rocking British bands like Judas Priest and Motorhead and the more punk influenced Iron Maiden and Def Leppard. While over in America, Aerosmith, Alice Cooper and Kiss were slapping on the grease paint and strapping on the high heels. The glam metal mantle was taken up in the early 80s by the pretty boys of Motley Crue, just as the more aggressive playing style of Metallica and Megadeth was ushering in yet another subgenre labelled thrash metal. Doom metal, black metal, speed metal, gothic metal, progressive metal, viking metal, symphonic metal and new metal are just some of the offshoots that have sprung up since, to prove that screeching guitars and screaming vocals have lost none of their mojo. And those early purveyors of hard rock who have survived to tell their tale have become the elder statesmen in a subculture that is now celebrating 40 years of independence from the mainstream. Displaying as much stamina as the genre they pioneered, many of these acts are jumping on the comeback bandwagon to surf the wave of nostalgia flooding the public consciousness. Wearing the ravages of their excesses like honourable battle scars, these founding members of metal are enjoying a huge resurgence in popularity and savouring plenty of retrospective respect. 